Okay, hello, my fans. I am Thomas Tank Engine 1984, yours truly, and today we are going to play some more trains. Now, the route from last time didn't save as far as I can see, so, um, we'll be making a new one today. And, uh, pretty sure that it will be better than the old. Now, I've got a better idea for, um, the route. Instead of having Thomas have to run all the way across the line, uh, to get to his coaches, I thought that it would make more sense, uh, for him to just have his coaches right there. Now, um, I'm currently trying to, uh, Okay, there we go. Skipton Station. Uh, I'm trying to change the sign to say Napford. Okay. Oh man, this route is locked, so um, I'm not able to uh, edit the properties, which is a shame. It'll be real interesting to see what would happen. You know, I was uh, talking uh, with the uh, some of my friends and that uh, one of them said you know like the visual like i wait no not like the visual view like i once watched thomas and friends when i was like five and i was actually like afraid and i'm like did you just say that like i know that it's easy for people to be afraid like they're big uh locomotives with like faces and feelings and complex emotions so like I get why it could be a bit scary. Can make all the diesels uh, here. Um, pretty sure that uh, we'll have to keep uh, Diesel himself away from the other locomotives as he does bite. Diesel's in the wrong shed, uh, put him over here, that's better, fits in. And we'll be creating, uh, Farker sheds over here, and, um, apparently Toby isn't able to have any head codes. He's having been his happy face. Don't know what that did, but I'm pretty sure I just broke his spine. Wait, he doesn't have a spine. Oh well, I'll I'll break the I'll break logic then. You know, I think it would be funny if I just spawned in a random Union Pacific locomotive in this yard. I feel like that would be funny. Bringing America to England. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, 
Did that actually change his running number? No way, it did. Didn't think that would work. Or were they all just created with different running numbers? Yeah, I, I think that they were just spawned in with different numbers. Yep. But I'll keep spawning them in so I can create the ugliest noise ever. Then let's sprinkle in a bit more steam here because currently the diesels outnumber steam locomotives. <laughs> I like that they added different uh, numbers for some of the locomotives. It just adds a bit more realism to uh, everything. See if the running number changed to 166. No. Now you're getting banished. Anyway, um, let's just ignore that I ever did anything, because I'm completely innocent. Well, and because I don't have Mavis, I'll just place Mavis. How creative. And you know, just so I can anger a locomotive side games, I'll just add more diesels to the yard. Wait, does this narrow gauge engine work? <laughs> no way! We got the narrow gauge. We got Derek's child. Right here. And it's perfect, honestly. And so, uh,. Or the engine that I did not include at the sheds. I'll just spawn them in at the station. That way they can be really useful. Now, uh... Right now, like, out of the corner of my eye, I'm watching, like, Thomas and Friends Season 3. But, of course, I can't wear it. I can't hear it because I'm wearing headphones right now. But, oh well. You can't always get what you want. There's even a song about it. Can't always get what you want. Can't always get what you want. I think that's how it went. Uh, call me crazy. There we go. Okay, now we got a really useful engine. So, I have a plan for over here. Um, we'll add all of the engines that we didn't add over there. Um, and, you know, maybe add a few uh, new locomotives. Why not add City of Toronto? Oh, or Murdoch, I completely forgot he existed there for a second. So, um, while I'm doing all this, I'd like to, uh, update a few things about the channel. So, um, this YouTube channel will definitely be experiencing, uh, a lot more content being 
but released over time as you can see uh, if this video is uploaded as soon as it uh, will, was scheduled to be it will be the um, like most consecutive like the two uploads that uh, were closest in terms of how long it has been it's hard to find like the word for it oh forgot something over here we can't have a uh, two Percy's or two Thomas's otherwise the world would split in half so um over here I gotta hit uh, Thomas and Percy with the vanish uh, oh shoot what have I done I think I just killed Percy I'm turning myself into the Sodor uh, police Either that, or I'm fleeing Sodor. Probably the latter. One thing that I did forget uh, to add last time, and I think that this uh, would definitely change most of uh, the game, was adding freight trains. So we're gonna add some troublesome trucks there. I know that they don't have faces, but whatever. You know, like add the spiteful break van. Am I able to change his head code? Oh come on. There we go. That's his running number. There we go. I'm going to add an engine at the end of this line. All the way out of here, and then all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. So you know what? I'll add an Amtrak train. You know, uh, a bit back I was uh, visiting uh, Heritage Railroad, and um, one of the volunteers for the train said, you know, this train is unlike Amtrak, it runs on time. And still to this day, that's one of the best, like, insults ever, in my opinion. It, it honestly just works greatly with a company like Amtrak because as we all know Amtrak is pretty mediocre okay there we go so now we got the island is the door for real, for real. And now we can uh, do a drive session. Do a barrel roll. Okay, so, um, the locomotives are uh, quite loud. Oh, and I forgot that to change Toby's expression, so um, now he's just kind of a sleep paralysis demon. And now we're doing this. Thomas now has a tail lamp. Now we're, uh, Heading off to the station. Although Thomas might want to use the turntable. So, I'll say that we're approximately in the uh, Knapford Common area. Seems like where we are. 
based upon the station. And uh, Thomas's lights are turned on. And now I just gotta turn the turntable. And now we just gotta send this train down the line. Guess I'm derailing this train. This train has no destination. There's no hope for the girl. Okay, so now we got Percy out of the yard. Thomas. I just realized that in the background you can see America, aka the Union Pacific. You know, I was like looking at um, memes about things that sound very similar. And so someone pointed out that the Bayern Munich player, uh, Harry Kane, it sounds like the word, uh, his name sounds like the word hurricane. <laughs> There's honestly a lot of words that sound very similar, so you gotta be very clear if you're speaking in English. Okay, just for a second. Honestly, in my opinion, I really do not like the drone camera in trains. And, uh, it's just not too good from my experience with it. And we will leave Thomas there on the main line. Of course, Thomas has zero experience with uh, anything, so I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Yes, Gordon, you. Am I driving Gordon or not? Okay. Thomas is a backrooms entity. Of course, he went to jail over tax evasion. Gordon didn't survive the human, oh wait, I mean, I, the Soviet moon trials. Honestly, uh, just took a quote from Train Boy right there, changed it up a bit. There we go, the Island of Sodor billboard. And now, the fun begins. I swear this game just needs like a setting for if you want the sound effects to be loud or not. Because like this game can be extremely loud. Now we're going down the main line. 
Goodbye, little blue puffball. I mean, take it, take it. I'm sorry. I miss Kendra Thomas. Did that car just do a wheelie down that hill? <laughs> oh my god. You know, while I'm at it, I think that I can just try out the narrow gauge train because never before have I used it. This thing is so tiny. And it speeds up at absolute god speed. This thing is like one of those like cars in disguise as a steam train at like your local theme park. Like we've all seen those like giant like motor powered um like things that are supposed to like represent steam trains. Honestly they're um they're definitely something else. That's for sure. And I actually have no clue where Gordon is right now. Oh god, I think that I think that my top priority should have been Gordon uh, most of the time, but it just wasn't for some reason. And oh my god, he just hit 91 miles an hour, and the station's literally up, just up here. Like, he is never going to be able to slow down. You know, I just learned that in the United Kingdom, uh, they have a lot stricter regulation uh, for their uh, movies. For example, you want to watch a 12 rated movie in year 11? Not happening. You want to watch a 15 rated movie, the equivalent of an R rated movie, uh, when you're 14? Not gonna happen. Like, the British are just a lot stricter about, um, what they allow, uh, for children and not for children, and like, honestly, it's just a better system than in the United States, I'll be honest. Because in the United States, they're like, like, our strictest, uh, wait, no, not our, like, strictest, um, rule is um, NC-17 and even then like R-rated movies are like well I guess they can watch it but like kinda not and I think that Gordon kinda passed the station a bit too much come on go back go back I think that Gordon was supposed to pass the station. I think there was a station on Thomas's line. Oh well, nevertheless. Nevertheless, it's still happening. Okay, now we'll have to get uh, Thomas going. He's a really useful engine, you know. The other engines will tell you so. He huffs and puffs and whistles and he gallops to the front. Yes, he's a really useful engine, we you know. Honestly, one day, um, well, soon. 
I will uh, get into like a public train server and then just casually run trains while everyone else squabbles and scrambles to get like just one locomotive. Okay, now we're on the main line. We'll be going for a long time, that's for sure. Some of these people in like Annie and Clarabelle look absolutely miserable. Like, that dude looks like a lawyer, I'll be honest. Like, oh dang, I, I made Thomas mad. Just kind of funny. Oh, my gosh, what did they do to Thomas? No, what the? Okay, do they have the whistle stop park, Thomas? Eh, they have six flags, that's close enough. Honestly, um, I think Thomas is just genuinely tired. Honestly, yeah. though, um, I think that this route is coming along really well. So we uh, go uh, so we pretty good. We made it. Yeah. 
very good. And um, uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm get, kind of getting tired of that shake. Thomas is just kind of like, oh, I'll prove to you, I'll prove to you I'm faster than you, Gordon. I thought that I would have disabled the coupling. Honestly, though, um, oh my goodness, how slowly is this game loading? Anyway, um, Today's been a pretty good uh, sur uh, recreation of uh, the first video, uh, and I think that it's honestly um, a lot better and uh, sizable. Anyway, um, if you're watching this video, uh, and if you watch to the end, or if you could skip to the end, I don't know who you are. Um, you know, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can. Um, please, if you're uh, really that enthusiastic about my channel, uh, like, tell your friends about it. Pretty sure they'll be interested if they're interested in trains. And, uh, until next time, I'm Thomas Tank in 1984, and I'll be signing out.